Well guys, this is an update about my brother's car here. For the four people who care and who have watched my other two videos. I believe I told you in the last one that we took the head off and it was warped so we took it to the machine shop. And uh, before the woman was going to shave the head down she thought she'd magnaflux it and she found out it was cracked so I went to Pine Auto Salvage and we got ahead and we got it up here and it looked fine except the spark plug holes were so bad and rusty you couldn't try to plug into them. So we called them up and got a different head we put that one in. Well, my grandpa did that yesterday. I was busy having fun. But um, we got new gaskets for it for the intake manifold and the front head. And um, today we put on the intake manifold and this air manifold sort of thing. I'm not sure what that's called. And the rocker cover. And. Uh, Exhaust manifold up here and some hoses and stuff. I don't remember if I mentioned this before, but when I was taking off this black plastic air intake, there's some sort of emissions exhaust thing that runs from the fitting back there at the bottom of that thing all the way down to that little nut thing right there and I broke the pipe off about two inches above that and we went to O'Reilly's but they wouldn't have anything like that and uh, AutoZone was closed so we're gonna have to check tomorrow but I think by tomorrow we should have this thing running again and um, took a couple of grinding bits and I polished up the ports on the intake manifold a little bit so maybe it'll run a little smoother, a little better acceleration, I don't know. And of course we have the injectors back on, we have the fuel rails on, we've got the plugs and wires all set up and ready to go. And I've got everything plugged in so far. We've still got this air intake and throttle body that bolts up there and goes over the air filter. We still have to put that back in, but other than that, Oh yeah, we have to put the alternator on, and we're not sure if we're going to get a new water pump, or just get a gasket for the old one, because I don't think the old one's bad or anything, so we might just put that one back in there. And then there are a couple of idler pulleys that we got to put in, and then she should be able to fire up, I would think, and probably run without that pipe that I broke off. I have I'm not sure what that even does, so... Yeah. I just noticed that sticker on the valve cover because we cleaned it up. Made in Lima, Ohio. So... That's kind of neat, I guess. But yeah, that's an update on my brother's car. For you diehard Briggs 5S Boy fans who watch all my videos. And, uh, guess that's about it. Get back to you guys.